What if Oviraptor was never a thief? In 1923, a strange fossil was unearthed in the scorching sands of Mongolia's Gobi Desert. It showed a small dinosaur crouched over a nest of eggs, caught in the act, it seemed, of stealing them. And so, it was named Oviraptor, Egg Thief. But what if that story was all wrong? What really happened to this misunderstood creature? Oviraptor philoceratops lived around 75 million years ago, during the late Cretaceous period. It was a small feathered theropod dinosaur, roughly the size of a large dog, with a parrot-like beak and a crest atop its head. Its name, Lover of Ceratopsian Eggs, came from the assumption that it raided the nests of dinosaurs like Protoceratops. For decades, this image of Oviraptor as a sneaky egg thief stuck. But in the 1990s, new fossil discoveries flipped the narrative. Paleontologists found Oviraptor skeletons not stealing eggs, but sitting protectively atop nests, wings spread in a brooding posture, just like modern birds. It turned out those weren't stolen eggs. They were its own. Oviraptor wasn't a thief. It was a parent. This revelation reshaped how we view dinosaurs, not as cold-blooded monsters, but as caring, bird-like animals. Oviraptor philoceratops became a symbol of this shift in thinking, but despite its adaptability and intelligence, Oviraptor didn't survive the mass extinction that struck 66 million years ago, the Cretaceous Paleogene, KPG, extinction event, likely triggered by a massive asteroid impact, brought darkness to Earth collapsing food chains, and wiping out non-avian dinosaurs. Oviraptor, along with countless others, vanished. Still, it left a legacy. Its fossils helped scientists connect the dots between dinosaurs and birds. Its posture, feathers, and even nesting behavior are mirrored in species we see today. So what really happened to Oviraptor phylloceratops? It didn't just disappear. It was misunderstood misjudged, and then finally redeemed by science. Once branded a thief, it's now seen as a devoted guardian and a bridge to the birds that sing in our world today. Sometimes the greatest discoveries don't come from digging deeper, but from looking again and seeing the truth with new eyes.